All right, we have an otherwise young, healthy, active, or previously active entrepreneur that has nagging low back pain, a very, very common problem. It's bad enough to make his daily activities kind of a chore. Uh, he barely finishes the day and afterwards does not have much energy to go out and socialize, do sporting activities over the weekend. And this is a very typical patient that is told, when your pain's bad enough, come back and we'll do a fusion. That's a pretty big surgery with an extensive recovery and most people don't like the F word because when a fusion does not go well, it could be uh, significant complications. So this patient has an annular tear that we've confirmed is painful by a diagnostic anesthetic injection. Unfortunately, the pain came back. And if you look really closely, you can clearly see an annular tear there. So most annular tears are asymptomatic, but not all of them. So this person is one of the you know, small group of people whose annular tears are very painful. And for him, the incidence of a painful annular tear is 100%. So he's tried numerous other activities. I'm sorry, he's tried, he has tried numerous other non-operative treatments without improvement. We finally decided to treat this surgically via a laser endoscopic discectomy and annuloplasty. So we will use a small little stab incision in the endoscope, go in intralaminar, and just treat this annular tear and the idea is the following. Number one, remove the offending agent that keeps stimulating the outer nerve fibers because when you stand up, the nucleus pressurizes whatever trap fragments are in there. And then two, if there's any leakage at all, which there is, the body will perceive it as a foreign body and initiate a healing response, which almost always involves the inflammatory process. And for most people, that inflammatory process of healing goes through the normal process and then turns off. But for some people, that process perpetuates in an endless cycle, and you develop chronic, chronic inflammatory pain. We see that all the time in tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, plantar fasciitis, shin splints, periostitis, uh, greater trochanteric bursitis, which is really a tendinitis of the hip abductor mechanism. Anyway, the idea is to treat this, restart the healing response, and more likely than not, it will go down the normal pathway, heal, and turn off, uh, and that's the goal. And with this strategy, we've been able to take care of a large group of patients that um, we've not been able to take care of very well in the past. So we're all hoping for a great result and wishing him the best of uh, luck and uh, getting pain-free so that he can get back to his busy lifestyle and back to his career. All right, we're getting started, gowning up. I just scrub my hands like you wouldn't believe, like the outer layer of my epidermis is off. Can I have the little strips? And I'm gonna be hermetically sealed. It feels so good. Star Trek and notice that McCoy, the doctor, always says he's a surgeon. He's not a surgeon, he's an interventional radiologist because all surgeons of the future are interventional radiologists. So we brought in intraoperative imaging, got in perfect images, and I'm gonna be like McCoy and a tricorder shot. And I start with the needle to confirm the perfect trajectory. Don't tell my colleagues that because that's one of my secrets, shot. Alrighty, so I've got this skinny little noodle dilator. We call it the skinny. And I'm using a combination of anatomic technique intraoperative imaging, and the force, Luke, the force. All right, I've got the needle in safely. That was boring almost. Now I'm gonna inject the blue dye because it's pretty. Shot and save. Shot and save. There it goes, it's going in. I'm waiting for it to leak out the back. Shot and save. It already leaked out a little bit. Shot and save. Shot and save. There it is. There's a shadow along the back posterior vertebral body line. And you have an annular tear in the front too. Shot and save. But the one in the back is a little bit bigger than on the MRI. It's bulging out. Shot and save. 
It's a big crescent line where the annular tear is, so I am pretty dang excited. Shot, mallet. So this is the boring part. I'm just making the opening bigger and bigger and bigger. I still probably couldn't fit my ballpoint pen down that corridor. Okay, I already feel the disc. And my guess is it's gonna feel very incompetent. Oh my God, it's so incompetent, it just fell in. And then this is the lateral recess. That's a blood vessel. We are good. Laterally, that's the neural frame right there. You can already see the busted up disc. But now I wanna look toward the canal. Because that's where the tear is. You can already see, there's the nerve. That's the traversing nerve root and dural tube. Look how red and injected it is. Because the inflammatory process is a powerful vasodilator. That's why things get hot and swollen. I'm looking immediately toward the canal and you can see the dural tube. Yikes, look away. And now, you can see the busted up disc. Right there, it's almost at the midline based on the MRI, so. I may have to do a little bit more work before I get there, but. Dr. Yes. Kim, what are you doing right there? All right, so I have the disc exposed and I'm groping it, if you will. And look how incompetent it is already. That should be like a really firm hockey puck. And you can tell there's gonna be an empty defect right underneath there. That's where the annular tear is. All right, I got the laser, which is, don't tell the trigger flex people, but it's my favorite instrument. Ha ha, just testing you guys, because look how magical this is. It just makes things disappear. Or oh, whatever, Deborah. Thank you. Deborah's supposed to be like this, by the way. If she's not annoying and talking all the time, yeah. she's not doing her job. The caca poo poo, look at how injected and inflamed it is. If you don't get better when you wake up, I will eat my hat because this clearly is caca poo poo. Now, this may sound gross, but you know that show, Pimple Popping Doctor? This is the spine version of it. I'm using this cannula as I move medially to release the nerves from the scar tissue and at the same time pushing down on it like that pimple popping thing that my daughter has. Laser is awesome because I can work right next to the nerve and it will not con conduct electrical impulses because shocking a nerve is not cool. This is all mechanical. The other cool thing is, so I can get really close to the nerve and not threaten it. And two, it doesn't create a lot of dust. So I can keep seeing what I'm doing as I'm working. All right, so now I'm exposing what we call the Mikey fragment. It's almost like a little poop that you see it coming out right there, look at that. I know it's gross, but I'm waiting for somebody to tell me a better example. And then let's face it, people love saying the word caca poo poo. Oh yeah. And I can feel it. It's like my teenage kid, not gonna come out without a fight. Let's try to save these fragments because I like to pile them up and take a picture. It goes all the way to the annulus. And this is in the midline. The only way you can get there is that there's a tear from the center of the disc out to the periphery. It's not the entry point of the needle, so. I'm feeling pretty confident that this is gonna be an awesome, awesome thing for you. Dr. David. Okay, the last, oh, 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 see that there's, it's like jello. There's always a little bit more it can give you. But I can tell that this whole area is empty. 
because after a while you get a really good sense of how it should feel see all these little loose pieces that should not be there the annulus is one of the densest tissues in our body and it is strong teenage son in here actually my my teenage son is not a teenager anymore and he's perfect so I can't really say that anymore but curly Q2 Terry there's one more big piece right there there it is look at that oh I can't wait for you to wake up look at that that's just one of many 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 pieces but this is the one that's way old looking laterally there's the exiting nerve root and its associated neurovascular bundle that's the disc annulus torn from the medial aspect of the facet joint. We call that the lateral recess, all the way to the midline underneath the dural tube. And you can appreciate how injected the dural tube is because of the inflammation. But you can also tell it's totally intact. I didn't injure it. And that's good because my mom always said spine surgery would be so much easier without blood vessels and nerves. I'm just backing up. That's the ligamentum flavum. It's actually really yellow. That is looking good. And I keep hitting that silly white balance. All right, all done. All righty, all done. We're taking out the endoscope. Look how small that is. It's got three channels. That's the cannula. It's basically the size of my pen. And the surgery went beautifully. We're all rooting for you, and I fully expect you to get better. So best wishes. All right, my favorite part of the case, putting on the Band-Aid, and we get to go home. Well, not me, but you do. So best wishes for a speedy recovery.